So, you probably want to start live streaming. Maybe you want to start a podcast, stream some video games or just want to have a chat with some online viewers. Whatever your intentions, I am here to help. Now, a huge problem that anyone who wants to stream faces is slow internet. Everybody thinks that without a properly fast internet connection, you cannot stream, which is simply not true. The whole idea behind being able to live stream without having your stream lag is simply having the correct settings and matching them with your internet speed. So without further chit chat, let me show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so you probably are seeing my uh, Windows screen right now, so just follow what I'm doing right now and you should be able to stream without lag. So first things first, open your web browser and go ahead and type in speed test.net and press enter. This will take you to a website where you will be able to basically test your internet speed. This is important because we're gonna need to remember the figures this test shows us and be able to select the settings without creating any conflict between the OBS application and your internet speed. Press go once the page loads and just wait for the test to be over. As you can see I have about 3 megabits per second download speed. Now that the test had finished, these are the final results. I have 3.4 download speed and 0.76 upload speed. Remember the upload speed figure because you are going to need it shortly after so we can match the settings. Open up your OBS application, I already did that. And be sure to add a scene and a source. I'm just going to assume that you know how to do this. So we can keep this tutorial as short as possible. Moving on from that, go to settings and then go to output and then go to output mode, make sure it says advanced, select the streaming tab right here, bring up this figure that I told you to remember, we are going to need it right now, but we are going to have to convert it into kilobits per second instead of megabits per second. To do that, just bring up your calculator, type in that figure that you got from the test, and then simply multiply it by 1000 to convert it into kilobits per second. And as you can see, I have 760 in my case. Yours will be surely different. After that, I have created this table right here so it could help you choose the correct resolution with the correct bitrate that you have. So we just calculated how much your internet speed is in kilobits per second. Your bitrate, your possible bitrate range, in my case, is 760 which falls into the range between 400 and 800. It is closer to 800. So for that reason, I'm going to be choosing the resolution 640 times 360 because 760 is very close to the 800 bit range. How do you input these settings? You might be asking. Let me show you how to do that. Go back to the settings page we talked about. Make sure that the video encoder says NVIDIA NVEC H264 or Quick Sync or if you have an AMD card make sure to choose the AMD option that you will find. In my case it's NVIDIA so I'm going to be selecting that one. Then scroll down make sure that the encoder settings says at the rate control bit says VBR which is basically variable bitrate. And now after that in the bitrate tab go ahead and type in the bitrate that is below the resolution that you chose. So for example, in my case, I chose the resolution 640 times 360. The bitrate for this one is 800. So I'm going to be typing in 400 in the bitrate. And the maximum bitrate is going to be the appropriate bitrate for my resolution is going to be 800. So I'm going to be selecting that one. As you can see, I'm going to be typing in 800. The keyframe interval, keep that at one second. And the preset, if you have a modern CPU, basically if you have a Core i3 or a Core i5 12th generation or something like that, or maybe a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5 CPU or newer, Go ahead and type in, uh, go ahead and select the P5, basically the preset that says slow and good quality. If you have a CPU that is older than that, go ahead and select faster because this option right here is very CPU intensive. In my case, I have a pretty good CPU, so I'm going to be selecting slow. Tuning, keep that at high quality. Multipass mode, keep that at two passes for full resolution. And the profile, keep that at high. Copy the rest of my settings, press apply, and then move on to the audio tab right here. Make sure to select the appropriate bitrate according to your resolution. In my case, it's going to be 96. Press apply again, and then move on to the video tab. 
the base canvas resolution this is will this will basically be your monitors native resolution or basically the resolution of your camera or whatever you'll be streaming with and with the output scaled resolution go ahead and select the resolution that you chose from the table based on your internet speed in my case it's going to be 640 times 360 and FYI if you do the drop down menu and you don't find the resolution that you want just type in the numbers followed by the letter X followed by the numbers again so 640 the letter X and 360 the downscale filter make sure that says Lanxos and for the common FPS values go ahead and select the appropriate FPS based on your resolution after that we are pretty much done just press OK I'm going to be assuming that you set up your Twitch or streaming service if you're streaming to Twitch or something like that make sure to select the server that is closest to where you live in my case it's going to be Paris so I'm going to be selecting the Paris server press apply press OK and boom just like that you can start streaming I already tested this before I started streaming I switched on the mobile data from my phone so I don't make my stream lag and I uh, watched my personal stream using my phone I recorded this As you could see, it's not lagging, it's working. You can definitely stream with slow internet in 2024. As you could see, it's not gonna be the highest quality, but it will surely get you started. If you aspire to be a streamer in the future and you don't have the means for expensive internet plans, you could definitely use this until you can get on your feet. As I said, it's not the highest quality, but it will surely get you started. I'm a firm believer that if you want to do something, you can do it with the means available to you right now until you can get back on your feet. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience and attention. I hope that this video helps you out. If it did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment. I do love talking to you guys in the comment section. Let me know what kind of stream do you run Tell everybody in the comment section what kind of stream you run. I'm not against advertising for your stream. It's a whole community down there. Tell the people what your stream is all about. Maybe you'll find new friends in the comment section down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.